there's a lot of forward motion and a brand new beginning in this connection that's gonna make both of you really happy. But what you need to focus on is moving on from the overthinking, the fear, the anxiety, the worry. There is something that happened between you guys in the past, or it could be something that just happened to you. And whatever it is, there's something from the past that happened that you guys are processing. It's, it's, you hurt me at the bottom of the deck. Whoever hurt who, who it's, you hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. So that must be why the energy right now is this eight of swords, which is like, I mean, this person's not healed. They're still, you know, hanging there and they're, they're tied up. They're all tied up. So one or both of you in this connection is still mentally tied up, either about like what happened or how to move past it. Like the answer is eluding someone. The, the solution is eluding somebody. The next full moon may be significant. I don't know if these eclipses that just happened uh, caused an ending or caused a fight or caused whatever um, but it looks like you guys are going to be moving past that whatever is the disrupt the disruption looks like you will be moving past that because their intentions are the ace of cups like harmony harmony one two three between both of you this is somebody who loves you and they realize that maybe the connection gets out of balance sometimes but they do want to do their best to give more to you so what is this that we're walking away though? Because it seems like this Eight of Cups is the thing that, oh, Eight of Cups on the Eight of Cups. So this is something that used to bring a lot of fulfillment. So this is showing me the dynamic of the relationship. Your advice from Spirit is to set stronger boundaries. Like boundaries aren't to keep people away from you. They're to create a structure and a foundation around the relationship. So if like the relationship was water and you know the boundaries will be like the vase the vase to hold the water in these flowers okay so you got to set some boundaries like not answering your you know not stopping what you're doing to answer your phone like for, i have a perfect example i normally have my phone on do not disturb all the all the time and a couple weeks ago i didn't keep it on do not disturb and like answer the phone for a dude at two in the morning which is so far away from my normal boundaries Sometimes we cross those boundaries for love, right? So that's just an example of something like the boundaries will help the relationship. It'll help your self-respect. It'll help it'll help you guys communicate better too. This like this you guys look like you're moving towards wish fulfillment and happiness here. You just have to have a conversation about anything that's on your mind. Get comfortable by practicing little by little talking to them about it bringing it to the table even if it's slow even if it's baby steps but inch by inch start talking about all the things that come to your mind anything that's bothering you anything that may have made you uncomfortable and that's going to build the intimacy between you and this person so you can understand each other a lot more 